Welcome to another video about OSC. In this particular uh, video we'll have a look at OSC and motion brushes. It's uh, as a result of this little question here that's coming from the Isadora forum. Is it possible to link the OSC message to a motion brush? Uh, in my initial um, research I found this to be problematic. However, um, having stuck with it, I've got something of a solution. Uh, for this video I'll be using um, TUI pad going via oscillator to Isadora to send um, XY coordinates from the TUI pad into Isadora. I'm experiencing some slowness here. I'll keep going um, anyway for the sake of the video. Uh, over here in the OSC part of Emotion, it's the current tool cursors that we'll use here in the top section of the uh, OSC receive window. Do make sure that the update frequency is above zero. Uh, I found it, it really does affect the performance of the uh, of emotions visual output. So with that all set up I'm going to use uh, Apple M on the keyboard to change the motion brush and immediately we can see that this particular uh, brush, the magnetic brush, is affecting the pen in the render window. I've put my thumb onto TUI pad and um, top right and to bottom right bottom left top left now I've also in my research have been finding that it looks uh, you can see the effects quite well on a grid particle Let's turn that pen off I've called this red because I'm going to go into the inspector and color it red like that. So Apple M back to the motion brush, pick up the TUI pad, I can affect the strength and the size. Let's get TUI pad going again, going to the middle. One thing I quite like about the grid and the strength is that it's possible to do that and then reduce it to zero and uh, it gets all kind of lovely. Oh, with no strength, whatever I do on the pad has no effect whatsoever. So put some strength in. I'm going to add some additional uh, layers into this emotion patch now. I've added yes, the uh, I've added a couple of extra layers and uh, open up uh, two pad again. And. Uh, the um, the other thing I found is that whatever the active layer is will be the layer on which your motion brush works. I really like that concentric circle thing. It's really rather lovely. Wind the strength up and take it off. Again, I found that it uh, it's very easy to spend quite a long time getting immersed in what's possible to be made visually in emotion with various 
brushes and settings and stuff so hopefully this um, video gives a bit of a quick insight into um, controlling a motion brush via OSC and uh, I wish uh, you every success in your own research and endeavours and um, thank you for watching this OSC and motion brushes video.